Legal Terms Part 3. Habeas Corpus Literally it means, have the body. When any person is detained by a government servant, such as a police officer, without reasonable cause, or without there being an order of a court for such detention, such detained person may be ordered to be produced before the court. Such an order is known as writ of habeas corpus. The writ is one of the safeguards of personal liberty, which may be taken away by public restraint. Hearsay. This term is used in evidence. Hearsay evidence means evidence given by a witness on matters heard by him from someone else. Sometimes, the term hearsay means whatever a person is heard to say, and sometimes it means whatever a person declares on information given by someone else. It is otherwise called second-hand evidence. Usually, such hearsay evidence is not admissible in courts. Homicide. Homicide literally means killing of a human being. If a human being is killed by another human being, it is called murder. Homicide may be either I lawful or two unlawful. Again, unlawful homicide is of two kinds A murder and B culpable homicide not amounting to murder. An act of killing done with the intention to cause the death is called culpable homicide. In forma pauperis, it is a privilege accorded to an indigent person, also called pauper, who is unable to pay the required court fees to institute a suit to enforce his civil right. A person who has no means to pay court fees to institute a suit may be allowed by the court to institute the suit without paying the required court fees, provided he is able to convince the court that he has no means to pay the required court fees. If he institutes the suit without paying court fees, he is said to have filed the suit in forma pauperis. In camera, the judge's private room is usually called camera. Sometimes, cases of such nature where a little amount of privacy is thought fit by the court the court may permit to conduct such cases in his private room, or the judge may direct all persons except the witnesses, parties to the suit and the counsel, who are to examine those witnesses, to leave the court hall, and in such a secluded court hall, the cases may be conducted. Such proceedings are called, in camera proceedings, in limine, this term means, at the outset, if any case deserves to be dismissed without calling for any evidence on the fact of it appearing to be bad case, then the dismissal of such a suit is said to have been dismissed in limine. Injunction. If is an order of a court restraining some person or persons from doing certain things which are detrimental to the interests of another or others. If the court restrains a person from doing any act, it is a preventive injunction. If the court directs a person to do a thing, it is mandatory injunction. And such an order of injunction may be either I temporary or two permanent. Insolvent. A debtor whose debt is exceeding RS. 500 slash is said to be insolvent when he cannot pay his debts as they become due and payable out of his own monies. This state of that person is called insolvency. Any person who is proved to have done an act of insolvency may be declared as insolvent by the court. Insolvency is the term denoting the state of one whose assets are insufficient to pay his liabilities. Insurance it is a contract between the insured and the insurer. By such a contract, the insurer undertakes to pay a certain sum of money to the insured in case an uncertain future event does happen or does not happen. In a life insurance policy, 
the insurance company undertakes to pay a certain sum of money in case the insured dies. Though death is not uncertain, the time of one's death is uncertain. Issue. The point or points in question arising out of pleadings, which one party affirms and the other denies, is known as an issue. An issue arises when a material proposition of fact is affirmed by one party and denied by the other. An issue may be of fact or of law. Facts and issue mean the matters which are in dispute and which have to be decided by the court. Judgment. The decision of a court pronounced in a legal proceeding is called judgment. It contains the facts of the cases of both the sides, the evidence adduced by both the sides, the arguments put forward by the counsel for both the sides, the discussion of these things by the judge, his reasonings for arriving to his conclusion, and lastly the conclusion of the judge. A judgment binds both the parties to the suit. Jurisdiction. This term refers to the authority of a court to decide a particular matter. It also means the competency of a court to entertain an action. It also refers to the territorial limit or pecuniary limit of a court in entertaining various civil and criminal matters. Liability. The word liability has a wide connotation. It means legal responsibility or obligation to do a thing. It is a state of being bound or obliged in law or justice. In civil law the term liability indicates the obligation to do, pay or make good something. In criminal law it means and covers every punishment to which a man subjects himself by violating the law of the land. License. It is a permission given by one person to another to do in or upon the immovable property which would, but for such permission, be unlawful. A license is strictly personal. It cannot be transferred by the licensee, the person to whom license has been granted. But a license to attend a place of public entertainment can be transferred unless it is specifically prohibited. Magna Carta. It refers to a charter originally granted by King John and afterwards reenacted by the British Parliament. It remains as a part of the Constitution of Great Britain. Strictly speaking, it is not a legal term, but a legal document or charter. It now finds a place in the statute books of Great Britain. It means the Great Charter yeah. Maintenance Maintenance is a provision for food, clothing and residence and other necessaries given to near relations, such as children, wife, legitimate and illegitimate, and other dependents. Minor sons, unmarried daughters, aged parents are to be maintained. An earning son or an earning daughter has to maintain his or her aged parents in case they are not able to maintain themselves. Mala fide. Bona means good, and mala means bad. Bona fide means good faith, and mala fide means bad faith. Mala fide and malice are synonymous forms. The term mala fide implies breach of faith or willful failure to respond to one's known obligation or duty. An act done without good intention is said to have been done mollified. Minor. Minor is a person who has not completed the age of 18 years. Where a minor is a word under an appointed guardian, his minority terminates at the age of his 21st year. Under law, a minor has no capacity to enter into an agreement. If he is a party to an agreement, that agreement is void. Since law wants to protect minors, because the maturity of mind to decide what is good and what is bad for them. Mortgage. 
A mortgage is a transfer of an interest in specific immovable property for securing the repayment of money borrowed. Where a debt is raised on the security of an immovable property, the transaction is known as mortgage. The person who borrows is called mortgager and the person who pays money is called mortgagee. Murder Murder is merely a particular form of culpable homicide. Every murder is a culpable homicide, but every culpable homicide is not a murder. In murder, death of the victim is caused by an unlawful act done with an intention to cause death. The victim must be a human being. If the victim is an animal, it is not a murder. Natural Justice it is opposite to legal justice. In rendering legal justice, strict legal rules are observed. In natural justice, the conscience is invoked and not legal principles. Rules of natural justice are not codified, but they are principles ingrained into the conscience of men. Natural justice is the administration of justice as a common sense or liberal way. It flows from natural ideals and ends in human values. Necessaries Necessary means what is indispensable, needful, or essential. Necessaries is a relative term. What is necessary to one person may not be necessary to another person. A car is a necessary for a medical doctor, but is a luxury for a ministerial servant. The things which are needful for the very survival of a person are called necessaries. Negligence Negligence is the absence of such care, skill and diligence, as it was the duty of the person to bring to the performance of the work which he is said not to have performed, where the diligence is required, and that amount of diligence has not been exercised. It is negligence. The omission to do an act which ought to be done, the commission of an act which ought not to be done, is negligence. Negotiable instrument. A negotiable instrument creates certain rights in the person who is in possession of the instrument. It can be easily transferred, negotiated. There are certain presumptions attached to a negotiable instrument. An instrument to be called negotiable instrument must be transferable by mere delivery of it or endorsement and delivery of it. If it is delivered to another person, all rights the person hitherto has been enjoying on the instrument are transferred to other person. Checks, bills of exchange, and promissory notes are a few negotiable instruments. 